John chapter 1 verses 14 through 18 And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake, He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me, and of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. The main truth which this verse teaches is the reality of our Lord Jesus Christ's incarnation of being made man. St. John tells us that the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The plain meaning of these words is that our divine Savior really took human nature upon him in order to save sinners. He really became a man like ourselves in all things, sin only excepted. Like ourselves, he was born of a woman, though born in a miraculous manner. Like ourselves, he grew from infancy to boyhood, and from boyhood to man's estate, both in wisdom and in stature. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Like ourselves, he hungered, thirsted, ate, drank, slept, was wearied, felt pain, wept, rejoiced, marveled, was moved to anger and compassion. Having become flesh and taken a body, he prayed, read the scriptures, suffered, being tempted, and submitted his human will to the will of God the Father. And finally, in the same body, he really suffered and shed his blood, really died, was really buried, really rose again and really ascended up into heaven. And yet all this time, he was God as well as man. This constant undivided union of two perfect natures in Christ's person is exactly that which gives infinite value to his mediation and qualifies him to be the very mediator that sinners need. Our mediator is one who can sympathize with us because he is very man. And yet at the same time, he is one who can deal with the Father for us on equal terms, because he is very God. It is the same union which gives infinite value to his righteousness when imputed to believers. It is the righteousness of one who was God as well as man. It is the same union which gives infinite value to the atoning blood which he shed for sinners on the cross. It is the blood of one who was God as well as man. For meditation, God the Son shares with us a common experience of living in a fallen world. His understanding of us is not therefore theoretical, but personally experienced. Christ is God, 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 Christ is God. Jesus said, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.
are you going to... Kevin... Mark... Are you going to burn me... In the bowels of hell? You... Have... A choice to make... Oops... Is it... Life or death? yourself just one question if you had not accepted Christ as your God then do it now while you still have time 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 every me shall now Every tongue can test of Jesus Christ is Lord.